Hello, Sagittarius. This is Barb at Mystic Door Tarot, and this is your weekly intuitive tarot reading for the week of April 26th through May 2nd. Thank you so much for joining me today, and if you're new to my channel, welcome. And please subscribe, hit that like button, and join me daily for my Quick Glance daily readings. Now keep in mind, these are general readings and will not resonate with everyone. You can obtain a private tarot card reading by clicking the link to my website below. And also be sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising signs, which might resonate with you more for this particular week. Now I am working with the Beautiful Creatures tarot deck this week, so let's get started. Taking a look at your first card, Sagittarius, you have the major arcana card, the wheel. Next, the three of swords. And let's see, the major arcana card, the world. Now your crystal for the week, Pirido. And I actually have my raw piece of Pirido. Okay. Okay, Sagittarius. So at first glance, you've got two major arcana cards, which is indicating there's going to be a lot of change happening this week for you. And the card here in the middle, you're not going to be happy about. So starting with your first card here, Sagittarius, this is your anchor card, your focus for the week. And you have the wheel. It's a major arcana card, so it's bringing in the change that's kind of setting everything in motion this week. Now, this is better known as the Wheel of Fortune. And usually when the wheel card shows up, it indicates change for the better. But if things were going okay for you, the wheel can shift and you might lose your good luck, your good fortune at this time. So the wheel kind of goes in both ways. And based on what I'm looking at for the rest of your cards here, for some Sagittarians, the wheel is not going to be turning in your favor this week. Now, really taking a look, a closer look here at the wheel in this tarot deck, we have a very powerful pixie who possesses many powers. Three abilities, in fact, fate, karma, and destiny. And with the roll of her 20-face dice, a very powerful tool, she will foretell the official and permanent outcome, an outcome that can't be avoided for the person she bestowed the role upon. So it's really as simple as a roll of the dice that will set things in motion. Now with the wheel being in your anchor card and focus position for the week, could be pertaining to karma, Sagittarius. Kind of like what goes around, comes around. Now for some Sagittarians, it's going to be taking a chance on something new, maybe something unfamiliar. It can also represent that something is going to change for the better, but only based on and depending on the circumstances and how your past actions have been portrayed and are playing out at this time. Now, the Wheel of Fortune reminds us that change is inevitable, and however things are now for you, they will most definitely not stay the same forever. So don't get attached to one way of being. And don't try to control everything because you can't. The wheel here is always turning. So it advises you to center yourself so that you can stay calm and make good decisions when the world seems like it's spinning out of control. Now for the Sagittarians that have been down on luck, it's a good possibility that the Wheel of Fortune is indicating a change for the better. But looking at your next card, Sagittarius, for some of you, 
it is not. The number 10 energy of the wheel is the most complete form of the suit's energy. So this is completion and it can be indicating you might be feeling stagnant. So it's time to seek out new pursuits. And that might be exactly what's happening for some Sagittarians in regards to the next few cards. Now your next card, Sagittarius, is the Three of Swords. Now typically, as the card says, this is a card of disappointment. It can be some kind of betrayal, some kind of loss, some kind of sacrifice. Now this can actually be the end of a relationship, the loss of trusting someone because of a betrayal. It could be some kind of rejection. It could be losing your job. Whatever it is, the loss will not be easy, Sagittarius. But with this energy and release, it's going to make room for further growth for you. As when you're unhappy and in pain, it's a very strong motivator for change. You want to do something to fix it and then you grow. Now this is Libra's card in energy and in the aspect of possibly being superficial, insecure, indecisive, things aren't balanced. And this card is ruled by Saturn, which has to do with time. So this is in regards to limitations and self-control. So this is kind of all about timing. There's something that's going to be in what I'm going to call an exact timing moment, which might be what will make you tremendously unhappy and actually why this card is indeed showing up. Now, the number three energy of this card is something coming together and happening to possibly create another situation. Now, looking at the card in this deck, what is pictured here is a very hurt and sad little angel. This angel has been hurt very badly by the one she loves so deeply. Now, due to all the mental pain inflicted on her heart, her white wings are now black. Her bronze skin has gone pale. Her golden hair is slowly turning black. And her sky blue dress has taken the color brown. The tears she has cried has turned to tar. She is broken from the inside out. And in her hand, she gently holds her own delicate heart with a nail stabbed into it, representing a pain she can't seem to bear. So, Sagittarius, <laughs> oh, wow. This card can possibly represent a time of deception that leads to heartbreak, Sagittarius. Sad to say, could be indicating a heartbreak. It's soon going to manifest. And it's best if you just clear out of the way. Possibly your confidence has been sabotaged. Maybe your feelings have been played. Within your heart has been shattered because of someone's lies or actions. This might be indicating that your expectations at times, Sagittarius, were misdirected. So you now have to learn to embrace your hurt and to learn from it. So this truly is a card of disappointment in some form, Sagittarius. And again, it could be the end of a relationship, losing your job, some kind of rejection, some kind of betrayal, or something where you're just feeling such a great disappointment. And this could be in someone or something this week. Now your next card, Sagittarius, another major arcana card. You have the world, which is completion. Something is finished, something is over. Now the world card represents both endings and then new beginnings. You've learned the lessons from your current phase of life, Sagittarius, so it's definitely time to move on. Now this is another card that is ruled by Saturn, so it's kind of like time is of the essence. It's also 21, 
which reduces to three. So another number three energy where there's this, what I want to say, synthesis of something coming together to become something more, which is the energy of the world card because it's endings as well as new beginnings. Now, three is the number of the navel chakra, your solar plexus, which corresponds with your action, choice, and will. This has a lot to do with whatever your three of swords here represents. As the world card energy, this number three energy is going to depend on what action you take, what choice you make. The world card is the last stop on the fool's journey. You've learned your lessons, Sagittarius. Now it's time to start all over again. Now your numerology here for your tarot cards is number 34, which reduces to seven. Seven's a very spiritual number. It's the number of your crown chakra, which relates to your major arcana cards here, your connection with spirit. So it's a good indication to strengthen your co-partnership with spirit. Meditate on a daily basis for direction and guidance for the week ahead. Now, your angels and guides have suggested the Pyridot crystal, which is associated with your heart chakra. This crystal has healing abilities and a very calming effect, especially if you wear Pyridot jewelry. Worn as a necklace, it can be protection against negative emotions. It helps reduce anxiety, gives you strength, it can bring peace to relationships by balancing emotions. So for some Sagittarians, this can definitely be a painful end here to your relationship with your angels and guides suggesting Pyridot. It can help you with your heartache. Now I have pulled three additional cards from the Lenormand deck as to give you a very quick additional message for your week ahead, Sagittarius. Okay, so we have cats. This is depicting like a park, a public place. And this is the Greek god of wine, Bacchus. Wow. Okay. Now, the cat's card here can be indicating somebody that's very self-centered, someone who's selfish, greedy, fickle. The cats are what the dog is not. They love flattery, but only when it serves them well. And whoever this might be, Sagittarius, because I don't feel it's you, you're there to please them, Sagittarius, not the other way around. Now, the park here is like a public gathering place where there's people outdoors, there's a garden, everything is very kept and manicured. Now, what is actually pictured on this card is Art Hill in Forest Park, which is in St. Louis. Now, Art Hill is a place where the city gathers for movies and fireworks, balloon races. And then also at the very top here is the Art Museum. So this card is specifically indicating the people in a very public place. Now, your last card is Bacchus, the Greek god of wine, and it's indicating Break out the wine and let the party begin. So this is a card of kind of like letting loose with no responsibilities. I mean, look at this card. He's just having a good time. Now with the existing cards, this drinking could take a turn for the worse. So this is describing somebody who really likes to drink and or can't handle alcohol. So your collective message here with these cards, Sagittarius, is indicating that someone who's very fickle, self-centered, selfish, greedy, impatient, 
will be a vi- will be in a very predominant public place for all to see. You know where this is headed. And will be obviously drinking way too much, causing possibly an embarrassment for them as well as you, Sagittarius. So this could possibly be somebody you're dating, someone you're in a relationship with, or possibly a coworker. Someone you're with in this very public place is going to be drinking way too much and possibly embarrassing you and them. And everything is going to take a tremendous turn for the worse as everyone in this public place will be hearing and seeing everything that this person does or says. And this is what is going to bring about your Three of Swords card energy. So in summary here for your reading this week, Sagittarius, you're starting off with the Major Arcana card, The Wheel, indicating changes coming in. And this is the Wheel of Fortune card, where the wheel turns for the better or for worse. So for some Sagittarians this week, there is going to be what I'm picking up, a public display of attention, very undesirable with whoever you're with at the time. Now, this could be someone you're in a relationship with or someone that you work with, but someone is going to cause great embarrassment, if not more, for you. And this leads us to your next card, the Three of Swords, which could be that you're ending that relationship. It could also be a loss of employment due to this social interaction. This could be someone that's betraying your trust and possibly blurting out some information under the influence that you did not want to get out. And I'm almost picking up where this could be somebody that you're personally in a relationship with and you might be at a very important business meeting or a business function and the person you're with drinks a little bit too much, a little bit too much partying, and blurts out some information that's very, very detrimental in regards to your work environment. Now, this could also be a fellow coworker behaving in the same manner, but the information that goes out to the public is very detrimental to you, Sagittarius. This is going to lead to a breakup with the relationship whether it's a love relationship or a co-worker relationship. The Three of Swords is like the betrayal of trust in the information that was told to this person that's actually blurting out this information in this public gathering. And that brings us to the world card as this is endings. And you're going to be going on to new beginnings. This is lessons learned, very hard lessons learned this week as your cards are just indicating something very unfortunate is going to be taking place and most likely some communication is what I'm picking up that's going to be shared that shouldn't be. So the world card is just endings and then new beginnings for you, Sagittarius. You're going to pick up the pieces and go on, but definitely something will be coming to a screeching halt. This could be your relationship, a friendship. This could even be your job based on the communication, the information that was blurted out. Your numerology here is number seven. Turn to spirit for guidance and direction. Meditate. Get yourself centered and balanced to be able to pick yourself up and move forward. Meditate with the Pyridol Crystal as it has many healing properties. And your final message from the Lenormand cards is indicating that someone that's very self-centered, very selfish, greedy, and patient will possibly be with you in a very public gathering place, possibly connected to your work, Sagittarius, and will end up partying a little bit too much and will be sharing information that will be detrimental to you, Sagittarius. This will be enough to end the relationship, whether it's a love relationship or a coworker. And depending on what information is said, it could also cost you your job. 
So your cards this week, Sagittarius, are indicating a very specific chain of events taking place. Your luck is turning and pretty much not in your favor based on the people you have around you. Something is going to disappoint you greatly and cause something to come to an end. Whether it's a relationship, your job, whatever it is, something is going to be over. And your Lenormand cards show a very specific event that could be taking place for some Sagittarians. Not all of you, of course, but for some of you, you're going to be with somebody in a very public gathering who's going to either embarrass you or cost you possibly your job by drinking too much and maybe sharing information that will be detrimental. So some of this can certainly be prevented, Sagittarius, and that's what tarot card reading is all about. This is just kind of a warning that these turn of events could possibly be happening to you in the upcoming week. So what is that phrase? Forewarned is forearmed. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please subscribe and help support my channel if you haven't already. And for a tarot card reading, click on my website link below. Love and abundance to my Sagittarius family.